Today's video is going to be about replacing the hair on this uh, little antique doll that I picked up at the doll show at the antique mall last weekend. And I think we can do a little bit better job than they did on fixing this hair up. <laughs> well, let's hope so anyways. So as you can see, this little doll is porcelain and uh, the hair looks like they just used like hair extensions, um, the cheap ones, and then they just glued it directly onto the porcelain head. And you can see that it's definitely made out of nylon and uh, it's not very well done. I mean, you shouldn't, when you're doing doll hair, I don't think you should just kind of glue it on like that uh, yeah it's uh, definitely not done properly so I'm going to begin with by uh, taking the hair off and uh, trying to do it gently so that I do not break the porcelain and luckily it's coming off fairly good and you can see the bangs the same thing we're just going to peel those off and uh, so when you do these this doll hair apparently you're not supposed to be gluing it directly onto the porcelain like this the the hair itself you're supposed to make it into a wig so um, I'm gonna have to build a wig cap for it um, so I'm just pulling it off as best I can and I'm really trying my very best not to destroy the actual doll because I think she's just absolutely precious. I just think she's so neat. She's got glass eyes. You can see that's how the eyes are held inside. There's like uh, some kind of plaster and there's the hair that we tore off. So um, I've got some mohair because I used to make those uh, reborn dolls. So I have quite a selection of doll hair hanging around here that I don't use anymore. So I've got some dark brown and some blonde curly. And then I have this kind of reddish brown. And then I have some more blonde curly. And then I have kind of a little bit of a, a light brown. And the, oh, that one's really red. Um, it doesn't look red on film, but trust me, it's red. <laughs> and... Uh, so what I'm going to do first of all is I've got a double layer of saran wrap or plastic wrap and I'm just going to put this over top of her face just to uh, um, make sure that uh, we're keeping the doll itself nice and clean and that no water goes inside of her head. And so I'm just tying elastic band around it and I've got it on fairly, fairly tight because we don't want any water getting into the hole in the top of her head. And then this is the stuff that you use for doing um, cross-stitching. So I went to the kitchen sink and uh, I got a piece of it wet. And it's really got a lot of sizing in it. I can't stress enough um, how, how it, uh, when it dries, it'll dry like hard and to the shape that you want it to dry. So I've just kind of put it over the little doll's head and then I'm going to take an elastic band and wrap it on very tightly so that when it dries, it'll make a perfect little cap. Now, originally I did it with this small piece and I ended up having to redo it with, see, a little bit larger piece. So I'm just going to let that sit overnight and let it dry. And uh, when the elastic band comes off, it'll shape perfectly. So my friend Sunny, who's part of our miniature group, showed us this weekend how to make little baskets. So I have this little um, Play-Doh container that uh, came out of one of those mini brand balls. And I did the same thing with that. So I just uh, put the cross-stitching fabric on that, tied it with an elastic, left it overnight, and voila, I've got a little basket. So this is where I got the idea to do the cap of the wig out of this fabric. And uh, Tina, who's also a member of our club, 
taught us how to make baskets this weekend. So I made these two little baskets this weekend at our mini day out with our miniature club. And I thought that that was kind of a cool thing to make. Um, it's using that uh, wax thread. So here's my poor baby and she's going to have to sit like this until tomorrow. It's still evening, but it's dry enough to add some hair. It's a couple hours later, still evening, but I gotta add more. Has uh, um, all but dried. And so I noticed that there are a few little bald spots in her cap. So I'm adding just a little bit more hair here and there just to make sure that uh, the cap is fully full of hair. Um, I plan on doing an updo, which you'll see in a little bit. So I'm just adding um, just a little bit more hair so that when the hair is pulled up, none of the cap is going to show at all. So, um, and I want to make sure that her hair is like super, super full. Um, I just like want it to look like really nice or I'm trying anyways. Um, I have put hair on dolls before, but just on the reborn dolls. And that's, uh, you actually root it right into the scalp when this is quite a different technique and even though I had daughters <laughs> yeah I'm not uh I'm not the very best at being a hairdresser you can ask my kids they still talk today about the bad bangs that mom used to give them <laughs> so um yeah so I'm just kind of uh trying to sort of sort it out a little bit so that it'll look nice once once it's done um Right now it looks horrible and I'm very skeptical, but hey, I'm only gluing this onto a piece of saran wrap. So, um, I mean, if the wig itself doesn't turn out, th there's no reason why I have to uh, use the wig. I could just start from scratch and try a different strategy at this. So I'm just, uh, I've got a little bit of glue on my fingers now, so ideally I should have washed my hand between each piece that I put on, but uh, yeah, we'll get it figured out. I really like the pieces that are super curly, so I'm trying for those rather than just all fuzzy pieces. So you can see here, I'm just kind of putting them together in groups and then kind of making it a like tight at the top and then I'm adding tacky glue to the top of the cap of the doll's head. And then I'm just adding these little clumps of hair in and making sure that they're glued in super well. Um, yeah, I'm really quite, uh, I'm really quite uh, um, pleased with the way this is gluing together. So it might not look like much right now, but I think it might turn out, we'll see. <laughs> Oh goodness. Um, okay, so as you can see, this girl's gonna have a lot of hair. She's going to have one of those enviously thick um, heads of hair. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, um, this is like a extremely difficult thing to do for me. I mean, I just, don't really have a clue what I'm doing. You know, I'm like you guys, I just go on YouTube and I just watch tons and tons of YouTube videos and then, you know, fake it till you make it kind of thing. But again, you know, once I say that, see the bottom of the cap, it's completely exposed. Um, I'm just uh, putting more glue on there and I'm just gonna add more locks of hair. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, it remains to be seen. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is, is I just throw this little uh, wig cap out that I've made and start again. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's completely trial and error. So now it's the next morning. <laughs> and it's time to uh, see if this wig worked or not. So um, I guess the first step that I'm going to have to do is I'm gonna to have to remove that little elastic from her neck. And this morning, my husband uh, is at work, so I'm gonna to have to try and film this one-handed. So, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna take these trusty scissors and I'm going to 
cut this elastic off. So um, I'm just pulling the hair back to see if the cap is fully covered. And it appears that I covered it well. I mean, it's a pretty scary hairdo at this point, but uh, uh, it remains to be seen whether or not this is going to work. So I just cut the elastic off with those little fine scissors. And then I'm pulling the uh, plastic wrap off of the top of her head. So thank goodness for the plastic wrap because uh, it re makes removing the little wig so much easier. And then I'm going to just gather the plastic wrap off and uh, or together and then I'm just going to pull it out of the wig. So now remember, um, I glued that little... Uh, cap down to the plastic wrap so it's going to take a little bit of finagling and you can see here there's the wig with the little cap so i'm just gonna ever so slightly trim it and then um, i'm trying it on the doll to see if it actually fits which uh, i think it fits quite well you can see on the right side of the bang i have to trim that just like just ever so slightly so that it doesn't show and as soon as I'm finished doing that I'm going to put a little bit of tacky glue inside of the wig and I'm just going to glue this wig right on the top of the doll so you can see here I didn't bother putting uh, tacky glue where the hole is going to be in the top of her head and uh, I'm just going to glue this on so now her wig is glued on permanently. Um, it will p pull off if somebody in the future wants to give her new hair, but uh, that's basically what it looks like. Um, so my uh, idea is to give her an updo, and I don't have any of those tiny little uh, elastics, which I'm definitely going to need in order to give her this hairdo. So um, what I plan to do is, is put a ponytail right on the top of her head and then wind the excess hair around and give her um, a little bun on top of her head. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to help support my channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee. Just go to www.buymeacoffee.com slash Lisa Dobo. I'd like to thank everyone that has helped to support my channel by going to buymeacoffee.com. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so because it really does help my channel grow. And uh, please leave a comment below and tell your friends about my channel. I got to go to the dollar store and get those little, little tiny elastics that you use in baby hair to try and do this updo and finish the bun. And I will show you the final version uh, when I get it done. Well, thank you very much, everyone. And once again, have the best day ever.